guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a chatty get ready with me. Today we're just gonna get ready. Just showing you guys like what I've been enjoying using. I did recently pick up the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands. We're gonna use those. And I asked you guys for questions on Instagram so we can chat about that. So yeah, so it's gonna be a chatty get ready with me. I did wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. You guys know I love BetterHelp. I am a huge advocate for mental health and a huge advocate for therapy because it changed my life and I love that BetterHelp is getting therapy in the hands of more people. If you have not heard of BetterHelp before, it is a online therapy situation where they have over 20,000 real licensed therapists to help you with whatever you need. Everything is online from home, on your call, whether you want to do a video call, just a regular phone call, you can even just message them if you're not in the mood to like have your face seen or verbally talk. They just have a lot of options and I feel like it's opening up the door to therapy for more people. A lot of people are anxious about the fact of like just going to have to sit with a stranger and talking to them in real life. So I feel like all the options that BetterHelp lays out just makes it more accessible for some people who have reservations about typical therapy. I do my therapy from home, I absolutely love it. It's rid of the commute time. I can sit at my desk or sometimes I even sit on my bed and I get all comfy. My dog can be with me. Like I just love therapy at home. If you decide to give BetterHelp a try, you will just take a quick little quiz. That way BetterHelp can get to know you and what you're kind of looking for in a therapist. They will match you with one and as soon as you're matched, you could start messaging with them to set up your first therapy session. If you do that first therapy session and you don't like the therapist they gave you, you can switch free of charge. I always say, I, I think I went through three therapists before I found my right match. So it does, it can take a little bit of searching for the right person, but I love that BetterHelp will do the work for you of searching for them. And it's completely free and they do the dirty work for you. So whatever mental challenges you're facing, BetterHelp can help you. I, I can't say this enough, but therapy changed my life. So if you're feeling ready for therapy and you wanna give it a try, you can go to BetterHelp dot com that's h e l p dot com slash amy lynn for 10 percent off your first month of therapy which is so cool i recently had a friend signed up she loved it she loved her first match therapy is great therapy is life-changing life-saving sometimes and just the stigma around mental health needs to end therapy for everyone <laughs> So again, if you'd like to try it for 10% off your first month, you can go to betterhelp.com slash Amy Lynn. I will have it clickable in the first part of my description box. So you can just click and go there. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me. Hey guys, so back today with another chat and get ready with me. I really love doing these. I love, I've always loved watching them. So I was like, why don't I do them? I love chatty videos. Most of my videos turn into chatty videos anyway. So I decided to start putting them into my video rotation. I wanna put on earrings, hold on. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you would want to chat about. I have some topics to chat. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is in the peppermint scent, which is like a holiday Christmas scent flavor. But these Lip Sleeping Masks are so good. I love the berry one, I love the gummy bear one. So if you've never tried one of these and you're placing an order, I highly recommend. I also love and actually I'm gonna buy, now that I think about it, the um, Lip Glowy Balm in Peach. It's like my favorite, I'm out of it and I miss it. So I'll be buying that. So yeah, I just figured we'd chat, we'd get ready together. You know how it goes. So I've already put on some skincare. Would you guys, let's have an update of my perioral dermatitis. It's looking better. I updated you in a vlog at some point, but I started taking the antibiotic against, you know, my will, not actually. <laughs> I started taking the antibiotic like a week and a half ago and it's, I'm trying not to get too excited because it does this and it did this with the creams at first, but then it came back worse than ever. Um, but she told me, my dermatologist, she said, we can try the creams, but yours is pretty stubborn, it seems like, so it's probably gonna take the antibiotic. And she said it's gonna take a good month on the antibiotic for it to clear up. So here's hoping, but for now, I don't have like any active blisters. Wouldn't that be incredible if it cleared up? <laughs> but I'm going in with my Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation in the shade Nude 2.5. I do really like this stuff. It gives my skin a good coverage and a bit of a glow and it doesn't feel too heavy. I like it for every day. And it literally, Nude Sticks uses like high quality ingredients and like skincare ingredients in their makeup and it smells like you're getting a facial, like it just smells really good. And I use this mostly to cover the um, perioral dermatitis. 
If I go in with too much concealer, it kind of like clumps to the dry patches and it's not cute. So I try to just put a good layer of this and then if a certain area is like really gross or like red, I'll do some concealer. But for day to day also, it's just like, it is what it is. It's there. <laughs> and I'm sorry I talk about it so much, but I feel like once I opened up about it, a lot of you were like, yeah, I've had that too, or I have that too. And now you're on this journey with me. We're gonna get it cleared up, I hope. <laughs> So loud, so rude. But yeah, this tinted cover foundation is just like, it reminds me of like my, rest in peace, my NYX BB cream that I loved so much. It just kind of blends in really easily. No muss, no fuss. And I like the glow that it gives. Oh, I forgot we're like chatting. We're not just doing our makeup. <laughs> I have a couple of questions about my ring. One saying, your ring, I missed it. You and me both. <laughs> so I did get my ring resized. I haven't been wearing it for like almost two years. I feel like I took it off a month or two before Milo was born when I was pregnant. Hold on, what do I wanna do next? I'm t I love doing these videos, but I'm terrible at them. Oh, I guess we'll conceal a bit. I'm using my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer just in a few areas. Um, I was lucky, I feel like I didn't really swell in my pregnancy until that last month. Like I had the juicy pregnancy lips, my hands and my feet by the end of the day would like swell. So I took off my ring cause like, that sounds terrifying to get a ring stuck on you. And so it was just, it was sad, but I took it off and I was like, I'll see you in a month or so. But little did I know. <laughs> pregnancy just like blew up my fingers a little bit. And I, when I got it resized, it wasn't even that much, like I could still get my ring on before I took it to get resized. It just made me nervous. And it wasn't like always comfortable, especially if like, I'm definitely, I think we all are, if your fingers get hot, they expand. And so if I was like hot or we're on a walk or at Disneyland or something, then it would get too tight and you know, so I just wasn't wearing it. And I was just like waiting. I was like, I'll lose some weight. My fingers will go back down. The thing about pregnancy is I'm, I'm at my pre-pregnancy weight but my body looks totally different, including the size of my fingers. <laughs> and that's fine. So I just kind of accepted it. Like, hey, maybe these are just my new fingers now. Let's stop wasting time. I love my ring so much. It also, for some reason, bothered me that it like wouldn't be in the house. Um, I was so afraid to like drop it off somewhere. We dropped it off with actually a jeweler that made my uh, sister-in-law's ring. My brother had her black diamond ring made there. And so I knew they were good and trustworthy and all that. So we did it. It only took like, it only took like them four days, which I was delighted with just because I had it back on my finger by Easter and it was so exciting. And I am just, I'm so happy to have it back. And they cleaned it and she's just so beautiful. To, I haven't tried putting my wedding band back on, which I did buy that a little bit bigger just because um, this was custom made for my finger. If you don't know, I actually was a part of picking out my ring, which I, to be, I feel like I've talked about this before. To be honest, I was worried that that would like, ruin the magic, ruin the surprise, but it totally didn't. In fact, it was like something extra exciting we got to do together. Also, this is your engagement ring that you will be wearing for the rest of your life. If you wanna be involved, be involved. I, I knew I wanted to be involved, but I was worried about certain aspects of it. I'm just talking about doing my makeup. But yeah, like we had a day, we went through, we went through a family friend who does custom jewelry and she, like laid out some diamonds for us to choose from and we got to like look in the things and it was a really super fun day. Um, so I just, I, I love that I picked this out essentially. What was my point of that? Oh, that this was like custom made to my finger. Like they, they sized me. Also, I didn't see the ring until he proposed. So I picked out the band, the color, the diamond. I picked out what kind of setting I would want. I, she had everything in place. And then obviously I didn't see it until he proposed. And it was like even more exciting because like it was done and it was so beautiful. But I ordered my wedding band from a site. I think it's Furcos Fine Jewelry, F-E-R-K-O-S. Such affordable diamond pave infinity bands. Um, and so I had to get it a little bit bigger just cause like of, they have, you know, half sizes and all that. So it may still fit, but I haven't tried it cause I'm just too scared. <laughs> cause that would be way too hard and probably way too expensive to get resized cause it's including diamonds. Okay, but now I'm gonna do some contour. I think I am going to use my new, uh, that was like part of this is I wanted to use and show you guys the new e.l.f. contour wands. I found them in store the other day, was so excited. I bought all three <laughs> and I had a coupon and some points to use. So I, it was just delightful, but they're only $9 each and I'm really enjoying them so far. So I wanted to use them in this, but I am also enjoying 
the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, a Jessica Braun recommendation. This is seriously so good. Def buy this at Sephora now. It is so good. I'm in the shade Laguna 01, but it blends out so nicely, stays put all day, and it just, it, you look like a bronze goddess. Trust, this is fantastic. And then I talked about in my latest favorites video, which I can link up in the corner, if I can freaking find it. Oh, it's right in front of my face. But I also have been using the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer in the shade Tan to Deep as a cream bronzer, and I love it. I love the way the shade looks on my skin, and it stays put all day. But so does the e.l.f. one. I've just been so pleased with the like staying power of all three of these. I always open this and think it's a wand, but it's not. It's like a little thing. These are supposed to be, I think, their dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury um, wands, and I've never tried those, but I'm really enjoying these. So in this, I have the color light medium. The light one was a little too like gray for me. I knew I would enjoy the shade better. That's literally all I do. I put it there and then I blend it out. I really need to wash my makeup brushes so don't look. Also on my makeup declutter video, which I can also link up in the corner, I got like, not hate, but a little bit of judgment of the amount of makeup brushes I have, <laughs> which I get it. I do have a lot of makeup brushes, but I love them and they'll last me forever. So whatever. Yeah, see how like nicely that blended out? Just so beautifully. And this one, like these are glowy products, but this one doesn't have too much of a glow. I have noticed that there is such a thing as too much glow. And so when I know I'm using these products, I don't use my e.l.f. Halo Glow, which I am enjoying. Between that, the Nude Sticks foundation, and then all the glowy stuff, like I was just like, whoa, I'm a little too glowy on this fine day. But it is really nice for spring and summer. I love a little bit of a shimmer in my bronzer for the sun to hit, and it's just like, oh, she's a glowing goddess. But just, can you tell how nicely that blended out? It was so nice. And I wanna say they had six shades. Maybe four, five, six, somewhere in there. But yeah, the second one was the one I chose. Let's grab another question. I don't have any room on this table in front of me. It's not a table, it's a stool. So I just put my phone like in the, whatever. Somebody said, trying to get into meal planning slash prepping. Any tips? Much love. Much love to you, my babe. Honestly, like I've always wanted to be into it, but I wasn't. Like it just, it kind of... Uh, I thought it would take a lot of time. And while sometimes it can and it does, the way I've started to do it, this Nude Sticks um, foundation will crease in your eyelids. We will set that when I'm done with. Actually, let's set it now. Currently loving is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. I said in that makeup to clutter, I don't like this and I was completely wrong. It's a, it's a great setting powder, especially for underneath your eyes. But anyway, I didn't get into the meal planning situation until I started doing it in order to not waste food. We buy a lot of produce now. We have a toddler now who is a good eater and you know, I buy a lot of what he likes. And you guys, that candle is so like, I have a headache, I'm choking. I might get rid of it after this video. Might be the last time you see it. But I did notice that like some, some weeks I would just buy all the produce that we like and then some of it would get wasted, like mushrooms or like onions and celery and stuff like that. And so before I go to the grocery store, I kind of just take a look at what we have. Me and Bradley discuss like which nights he'll be home, which nights I cook dinner. Yeah, cause for like the most part when he's home, he likes to do it. Not that I don't like to do it, but um, there's a lot of nights where he gets home right at dinner time. So I have dinner ready like a good wife, I've got dinner on the table. So we would kind of discuss like what nights we want what. I would look at what we had left over from last week to not buy again. I would just do a loose meal plan, go grocery shopping. Um, and then I'd come home and I'd kind of, as I'm cleaning out the fridge, putting everything away, really like getting to know what we have, what we need to use up. I'll write out our meal plan just on like a lined post-it that we stick on the fridge. I should get like a whiteboard or something to be less wasteful. I said I was gonna use that e.l.f. blush, but I just ordered my favorite blush ever again, the Physicians Formula Natural Defense in um, soft pink. They had it on Bed Bath & Beyond. And so I ordered it and I wanna use this cause I missed it. But once I got in a rhythm of it and realized how much money it was saving us, I like, I look forward to doing it. I was on board to do it after that. So maybe my like tip or my uh, advice is just to start doing it. Once you get into the habit of it, 
it just becomes kind of like second nature. And that's not to say we don't waste food. I just threw away a moldy avocado this morning and I was upset about it, but it does definitely help. Like tonight I was looking, which first of all, we have so many freaking leftovers right now from Easter, which I did do a whole Easter vlog we hosted. So we had like appetizers, snacks, the meal, desserts. And so obviously, and we sent leftovers home with people, like a ton of leftovers home, but we still have so much. It, that was Sunday, it is Friday currently as I'm filming this and we still have so many leftovers. Ah, love that blush so much. But I was looking through what we need to use up. I have limes I need to use up, I have potatoes, I have avocados and I have a ton of like cherry tomatoes. And I was like, I can make my chicken lime avocado soup tonight, which is a soup that I like kind of made up. I took inspiration from well, one, okay, Lazy Dog has <laughs> a tortilla soup that they put parsley in instead of cilantro. By the way, I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I got the shade um, Champagne, uh, but they have a, oh, it's so pretty. Can you tell how pretty it is? Hopefully. Um, they have, am I in focus? What if I was out of focus this whole time? No, we're good. They have a tortilla soup. Like I just said, they put parsley in it instead of cilantro. And like, I had never thought of that. And it was so good. So it's kind of like a tortilla soup, but it's not. It's more like brothy and limey than a tortilla soup. Um, it's so good. I've also been trying to take photos when I make certain recipes so I can make blog posts because I really, I get so many requests and I just would love to have a place for you to land, look at. I've done recipe videos in the past and I still love doing those and I will still incorporate food in my videos. But when I'm making a recipe, I don't want to have to refer back to a video. I would like it just like, I can read it. <laughs> I plan to do that. Nothing's up as of now, but we'll work on that. So maybe I'll make that tonight. It's also a crock pot meal, so it's super easy. Maybe I'll throw that in the crock pot for tonight and it's delicious. <sighs> She's glowing. Let's wear eyeshadow today just because I have this new clean CoverGirl color eyeshadow. This was again, J Jessica Brown recommendation. She's the only like beauty person I watch anymore, but it's, it's a beautiful like blush toned palette with a really pretty shimmer and I've been enjoying using it. So let's slap this on. I'm just gonna take a bit of this like blush neutral color first, just dust it into the crease. It is very pigmented, so that's probably a good thing. <laughs> but I was gonna say be warned, but that's probably a good thing. Oh, uh, but yeah, meal planning. Once I realized how much money it was saving us, I was saving like 40 to $60 a week after I was doing that. And some weeks is a bigger grocery haul. Me and Milo usually go, Grocery shopping every Monday morning. Um, Ludo, Ludo, <laughs> Bradley has a standing hockey lesson and that just like Mondays are the days we seem to be like ready for food. We actually kind of need some food now, but I'm gonna try to stretch things as much as possible. Cause I always like to have fresh fruit and veggie options for Milo and we still have some. I'm gonna try to like work some magic and stretch it out until Monday, which I don't know why why I'm doing that, just go to the store. Just because I have other things to use up, I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's get another question. Now that the holiday season is over, does Milo seem to have a favorite one? That's such a cute question. Um, Honestly, as of now, probably not, but this was our second round of holidays with him. Uh, to be, We missed Halloween because we went to Chicago. I have a vlog, I can like it. We went to Chicago to see my dad inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame and I wouldn't miss Halloween for anything else but that. So we missed, we were there on Halloween day and we actually had a really nice Halloween day. We went to the aquarium, um, we went to a fun dinner and it was nice and it was so, I'm holding so many things. I can't find the brush I need in this little thing. It sucked to miss Halloween day because now, my, back then Milo could walk and you know, it just Halloween's my favorite. So it was a bit of a bummer, but it was so cool to experience like real fall in real time. Um, I don't think I've ever experienced real fall now that I think about it. Like I've been to North Carolina, so I guess I have, but like this was like Chicago in, o late October, early November. <gasps> I'm going in with the shimmer shade. I didn't say it, it's so pretty. Um, so it was cool to experience that. And obviously just like the whole trip was a cool experience. But so we skipped out on Halloween pretty much. I am so excited for Halloween this year because he's going to understand. He understood kind of the, I mean, he understood go and get the eggs. He didn't really want to put them in the basket. He wanted to make his own little pile, but like he loved the egg hunt so much so that we've had to do a couple since. And like, he has some eggs just strewn about. He really likes the eggs. So maybe Easter was his favorite, but he obviously loves getting toys for Christmas and then Easter as well. Easter's the most recent. He was the mo like the oldest for that. And so he understood the most. And so maybe that one's his favorite. 
I loved that question though. Somebody asked what makes for a good subscriber. What a sweet question. Honestly, just being here like literally means the world to me. I don't have that big of a following. I never have. Like I kind of grew to 50,000 something and then I kind of plateaued. And I don't know why everybody hates me maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's just how it has been and how it is. And on to be completely honest, views since moving into moving and having my child have been down. I don't think that's a personal thing. I think for a lot of people, um, views have been down, I think because of short form media, like TikTok and reels and stuff, which I love that stuff as well, but there will never, nothing will top like a good, like when Zoe Sugg uploads a 45 minute vlog, like, oh my God, like my life stops. And I'm like, I have to go watch this. But views have been down. And so just honestly, truly, if you watch my videos, you're still here, that is it. Like that means so much to me. This is the way that I financially contribute to my family and you guys just like supporting me in that. Every time you watch a video, you buy through one of my links, you support sponsored content, like anytime you do any of those things, it helps me support my family and support my son. And that just, that is all I need from you. Like that is just so nice. I'll never get over it. So thank you for being here. I have a couple of questions about summer plans, vacation plans. Somebody said I want it to be summer so bad. I am feeling the itch, not necessarily for summer, but like for spring. It's still so cold here the week easter weekend it skipped spring and it went to summer it was so hot but then it went back to spring and now it gave, kind of gave me a taste of like oh i will accept this cold weather for as long as possible i live in the valley in los angeles and it gets freaking hot here i'm just I'm, I'm so bad at doing my makeup and this at the same time but summer plans possibly trying to go to north carolina we have not been there i haven't been there since the pandemic i've been there since christmas 2019 we are trying to make it happen this year with a baby, like I never have anything set in stone. Like I'm just like, yeah, we'll see if we can make it. <laughs> like just things are so unpredictable and traveling with a baby and a dog is going to be very hard, but we're gonna try to make it happen. We'll get there at some point. But if you are new, my parents, um, they are by coastal now, but they have a, they live in North Carolina on, a, on Lake Norman. And so in the past, like for, I think it was like 12 years in a row. I would go there for 4th of July and it was so fun. And so yeah, we might hopefully make it back out there for then. Something happened to my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I think like the stopper that stops, that like rakes off all the mascara as you pull it out fell in or something because it was a goopy mess. So I need to go get another one. Maybe Milo and I will go to Target after his nap today. <laughs> so I'm using the stupid, it's not stupid, the L'Oreal telescopic lift. Um, I, I just have a tough time with it sometimes. Some days it works great and some days it doesn't. Obviously can't talk about anything right now, it's too hard. <laughs> Somebody asked about our daily routine with Milo. Bradley doesn't have like a typical set schedule job. He has several jobs and the schedule is always changing. Um, so that kind of depends on, so we'll just change it into like Milo's daily schedule. He wakes up anywhere between like sometimes 5.45 and like 7.30. Dream scenario would be like, well dream scenario would be 7.30, but it's not usually that. Uh, but just please dude sleep past like 6.15, that, like that's ideal for me. But we do wake windows, so his morning gap is usually around five hours and he goes down for a nap. He's a pretty good napper. I probably jinxed myself today and now he won't nap. He naps for anywhere between usually two to three hours. Um, we're down to one nap now. By the way, I am shockingly not using my gimme brow because I'm out of it and I've been waiting for the Sephora sale to start, so I will buy that this week, but I've been using my um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil for Benefit, which I also really enjoy. I'm in the shade three, but like we wake up, we hang out a little bit. Sometimes we watch Pooh in bed. I actually just did a morning, morning routine. That should already be up. I'll link it up in the corner. We have breakfast, we play, depending on the weather. Sometimes we go outside. Then since his nap time, I, I don't put him down later than 11.30. I found that like, cause I don't want him to sleep past 2.30. So if he wants the three hour nap, he needs to be down by 11.30. So he has kind of like a snacky lunch before then. And then he has like a snacky lunch after. But so around 2, 2.30 he wakes up. And again, just more play time, lots of play time. We have Miss Rachel time. You guys, can we discuss Miss Rachel? I knew about Miss Rachel, but I, Milo, I feel like I tried her when he was a baby, but he's 
like me. He's very particular about what he likes to watch and he goes through phases. But I tried her again and now he loves her. And he was saying a few words, but like since he watched, like he, the other day he picked up his, he has a giant rubber duck. It's somewhere in this room actually. He brought it to me this morning. He picked up his giant rubber duck and he looked at me and he said duck. And I, I, I didn't tell him that. He, I've never taught him where his elbows or his knees are and he knows. And I'm just like, what the hell? It's Miss Rachel. She's a miracle worker. If you don't know her story, they have a great story, her and her husband. Well, no, I'll, like, I'll try to tell it, but maybe it's wrong. <laughs> but I believe they had a speech delayed child. They had to go through therapy and all that. And she thought it's a bummer that, that there's not a show out there to like do these techniques with kids to help them learn to talk. And her husband is a Broadway musical director, also has the voice of an angel when he sings on there and he's like let's create a show and so they created this adorable little show for kids it also is very like diverse and inclusive like there is a non-binary person on there named jules who jules plays the guitar very well i'm always excited when they come on to sing but it just is like i don't feel guilty about the screen time because it just he's learning so much when he was a little baby he preferred We've always done some screen time. We do like max an hour a day, but he loved, what was it called? Um, oh, the Hay Bear Sensory. So uh, great for babies. It's like low stimulating, just like dancing fruits on a black background. Then we moved into super simple songs. Now we're doing Miss Rachel and he's, he's more interactive with the screen than he was for super simple songs. It's something about her. Maybe it's something about having a real person up there, but just like Miss Rachel is a miracle worker. And I've seen so many of people's like testimonials on TikTok and stuff about how their kids were, you know, two and speech delayed, not speaking, and Miss Rachel got them to speak. So she, I'm just, I love their story. I think she's amazing. She gets a lot of hate, which I'll never understand. She's just so wholesome and like doing such a good thing for free, for free on YouTube. So yeah, if you have a child, try Miss Rachel. Give her all your views and all your money. I love her. Um, but anyway, what was I? Oh, we were talking about his daily routine. Um, so yeah, afternoon, lots of snacks, lots of playtime, outside time. If we have like an errand to run, we'll do that. Then I usually save my show's time if I'm alone for making dinner, just cause I do like to cook and he can be a little bit rambunctious and running around. So that way I know he'll like have his butt parked in front of the TV, I can get dinner made. We eat dinner anywhere between six and 6.30, head up, a little more playtime, and then bath time, bedtime. Bedtime is usually around 7.30, but again, we do wake windows. So if he takes, like, we were having nap problems a couple weeks ago where he was just like, I'm done napping at like noon. We'll do six hours after that, six-ish. I'll push it a little bit, but um, usually his second wake window, the after nap one is longer than the first one. Yeah, we were like having nap, not trouble, but just like inconsistency. And once we started doing the wake windows and I looked up, you know, the right, amount of hours for each month, age month he was at, it worked out. I love wake windows. That mascara kind of cooperated today. Somebody said new Harry Potter HBO series announcement. I missed the hype of, I didn't miss it. I guess I voluntarily missed the hype of the first round of Harry Potter. I just, I, I, tr I was not a reader. I'm still not, I can't read, I can read. <laughs> it's not a Leah Michelle situation. I'm just kidding. I'm sure she can read. Maybe. I tried to read the books when I was however old and they came out and I just, I, I, I was never a good reader and I tried so hard to be, just wasn't for me. But so I never read the books. I never saw any of the movies in theaters. I think it was like 2016, maybe 2015, Bradley was like, okay, you have to see these. So we watched all of them. It was the most magical experience of my life and now I love Harry Potter. I love, I watch them all the time. Like I watch them way too much. Like they're comfort movies for me now. So I'm excited. I mean, the casting of it so far, I think it's rumored casting, but like freaking Adam Driver as Snape, like yes, you had one assignment and you did the right thing. Also, uh, the, what's, I don't, Tom, whatever his name is, the guy who played Draco Malfoy is now gonna play Lucius Malfoy and that is incredible. I'm excited. <laughs> also because I feel like HBO does good crap. Bring it on. I'm pumped. I'm ready. Somebody said, do people really criticize you for your parenting? I find you and Bradley are the best parents. That is so sweet. Thank you. And people criticize everything I do. I share my life online. I share parts of my life online. And you know, it's just, people think it's welcoming in their opinions and their criticism. Um, I honestly, of course, sometimes yes, I get like, oh, you really shouldn't do that. Or, oh, you know, this, he might, this, this, this. But I've really eliminated that by not really sharing Milo online. I will share small 
not really personal details about him. Of, of course, you'll see the back of him and all that, but it just like, I, I don't share him for a lot of reasons, mostly his privacy and his safety. I choose to share my life online. He hasn't chosen to share that. You know, if Bradley was like, you know, I don't really like to be on camera, then he wouldn't be in videos. Someday if Milo's like, hey, I wanna be in your video, great. But for now, until he can make that choice, it's not my choice to make. But so by doing that, I've eliminated a lot of, honestly, stress and anxiety on my end as well of like, I found it really overwhelming in pregnancy. I also was just like mentally unwell in pregnancy and just everybody giving me their unsolicited advice and quite rudely and just saying like, your belly's too big, you probably have gestational diabetes and just like, oh, your iron's low. So you like just diagnosing me over the internet because of a small detail I shared. Like it really kind of also changed my perspective of, of sharing Milo. Like I didn't share anything about his feeding journey. I haven't shared like his birth details. Like it just like people, a lot of people can be really nasty and mean. I'm used to it with me. Like people say all kind of, kinds of shit about me, but do not drag my son into this. <laughs> so yeah, I've eliminated a lot of the criticizing by just like being really intentional with what I share about him. Yeah, people will criticize. People in real life will criticize. Other people always will feel, that looks good, the mascara is working out for me today. Other people will always feel like they know best, but it's like, no, you, I know best. He's my son, me and Bradley like literally know everything about him, we know what's up. See, parenting will come with a lot of judgment um, from you know people who follow you online or for people in your real life of like, oh, you're too strict, you're not strict enough, but it's just like, Nobody spends as much time with your baby and knows your baby as much as you do. And I honestly feel really confident in all my decisions about Milo. Like people's criticisms don't really get me down because it's like, okay, thanks for sharing. <laughs> or my makeup is done. Does it look good? <laughs> but let's do one or a few more. We'll end it on this. What are you most grateful for? I am grateful for so many things. I think I'm obviously most grateful for my son. He's completely like changed my life in the best way, especially as somebody who I knew I always wanted kids, but then my OCD got kind of loud once it was time to start. And I was like, do I actually want kids? And it kind of, it just threw my brain for a loop. But I, I went to therapy and she's all about the values-based living. And I was like, of course I want kids. And it was tough. Pregnancy was awful and tough. But I, I, at the other end, I'm so grateful to have had the experience. And I'm so, 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 so grateful for my son. Just my family in general. I am so, oh, so grateful. And I'm grateful for you for being here. I already expressed that, but I really am so grateful for you guys. Let's zoom in here. Let me show you the finished look. It's so advanced, it's next level groundbreaking. But this has kind of been like what I've been doing every day. I don't always wear eyeshadow, but if I have been, it's been this CoverGirl one. Really enjoying it. Look at the mascara, like it, it worked out today. <laughs> but yeah guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take my hair down. We went to Benihana last night and I didn't wash my hair when we got home and it miraculously doesn't smell like Benihana. I don't know how that happened. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will have all the stuff linked down below. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, I didn't talk about my bulbs. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram for more like real time updates and little, you know, just snippets throughout the day. It's at Amy Lynn Butchin. Follow me on TikTok too, if you'd like. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I will have my link down below. You can click and get your 10% off your first month of therapy. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in a new video. I got fun stuff coming up. So see you then. Okay. Bye.